Yes. Oh, Cyril. Okay. He j oh man, that's actually so good for Cyril. So classic. He has messed around with this style of play a little bit. Uh, I want to say I saw him first doing it maybe like six or eight months ago. I, I think before I am Katowice, he was messing around with the quick storm follow up. But the question now is where does it is this going to be like Storm Archon? Yeah, he's going to he's going to go double immortal here. Interesting. Ooh. And Cyril with the immediate scout fire response, high response here. Broodlords are by far the if he can get to that, and I think he will be able to because Classic's playing rather passive. Broodlords are by far the oh, best result. Get this last the absolute best response to this. Raider Spire is on the way. This is a slim timing, but it's not as slim as it could be because Cyril hasn't built any corruptors. He's left a little bit of supply to make sure that he knows he needs to build ground units. He needs to he needs yes. to survive versus he can peck in. And that means that this army oh, from Classic, Ford. we're gonna have to see what oh, I can do for things. now. The storms the high are Templar? massive. The High Templar are going to stay alive here. Oh. This army of Cyril segmented out on the top side. Again, the High Templar oh, the stay alive until that last Baneling. And now there's one storm available on this army, but steadfast. Were those storms enough here? There are a ton of plus two stalkers, immortals as well. Archons on top of this. A lot of Cyril's army, it's in his reinforcements. It's in his production. It's not here yet. It is, that was a really expensive setup for Classic here. There's still one High Templar alive. It gets a decent sized storm. High Templar getting picked up in the War Prism here. Classic is going to try and reinforce this with the Pure Bling Stalker. He loses the one of but he's got more reinforcing on the other side. We've got the plus three weapons on the way. That's irrelevant though, because we got this huge push coming here right now. There's a spine crawler for Cyril on the high ground. He is really in some trouble. But we've got the Observer spotting from the high ground. The Storm drop on top of the army. He picks it back up. Good split from Cyril to get away from that Storm as quickly as possible. But that was a really good setup for Classic. And if Classic, you know, puts his thinking cap on, he should know that Cyril pretty much spent all of his resources on that defense. And he backs away. He backs away. Cyril is going to try and get into the Broodlords now. Classic. He is on five bases and 92 probes. Ooh, big snipe on the High Temple right there. Nice job from Cyril. Getting every bit of value you can from these lings. Oh, no, the Immortal. No, bad rally. Oh, but it ends up getting value because like four or five bases <laughs> just crashed into it. We do see Cyril with a clutch scout. Sees five Stargates. And will know that that transition is now coming. He's adding on the additional pieces. He's getting these, these four crawlers. The Corruptors adding those on the uh, plus one air. I wonder if we'll see a second Spire now. That was a really important uh, spot. Oh, we also see the Burrow and the Pathogen Glands. That is good decision making here from Cyril. Classic though, look at the bank he's got right now. He has got Cyril in a tough position. What is Cyril's, what, what's Cyril's army composition right now? Like that's kind of what I'm trying to figure it out here because we have, I think five, six Tempests on the map. There were only three Corruptors. He's adding more in now. But you gotta, and by the way, no Vipers as well, which is a big deal. No Blinding Claws, nothing like Ooh. that. And now, four Vibes at his squad, and they're gonna get on top, gonna try to find that. Fungal Downtown gets a couple Stalkers here. But this, uh, we're gonna have to pay, take a look at it in a second. This Zealot his squad might get that Hive. And again, okay, no, Banelings and Banelings and Roaches found their way in. There are no Vipers on the field, right? You don't have that Blinding oh, Claws. Stalkers get on top of a couple the investors, investors there. That's massive. Those are huge. Yes, they are. Corrosive Vials, not going to be able to take down this War Prism, but uh, that might have been better for Cyril that the Warp In went through, because that was a lot of Zealots that uh, died for, I mean, a few Banelings. But at this point, Cyril, uh, he is going to need to, if he wants to win this game, he's going to need to win it in a long, drawn-out game. Classic is still trying to crack this game wide open, and he has opportunities. He's got a lot of plays to make. I do like the double War Prism play. He did it before he's going into it again. Maybe going up to seven Stargates is a little bit insane at this point, because he's he's already on five. Does Cyril still have no Vipers? That is correct. Yeah. He has not yet added those Vipers. Uh, maybe feeling like he doesn't have enough free supply and doesn't want to go for the Vipers just yet. He's still adding on additional infrastructure. So there we go, finally getting the second Spire. Great, once again, I really gotta commend Cyril on his rebuilding of the creep. We really see a lot of Zerg players losing creep and never rebuilding it. He's he's rebuilt the creep like three times in the middle of the map. Uh, 
Classic will end up losing these stalkers. But at least at least this time with the fungal growths not being there, he's able to trade instead of just losing them all for free. Storm drop. Very cute from Classic. Uh, it gets him five drones and a few larvae. Another storm drop. It's double storm drops from Classic. Triple oh, storm drop. And a huge one on the top side. He's gonna find the second spire. He's gonna find his base potentially. Another storm drop. Classic is popping off so hard. Oh, he's not base. gonna get the base though. He's alive. Oh, Cyril keeps it alive. This is a base though that you are, you can absolutely autopilot and like and go like get energy for your vipers from. And oh, Ooh, those spores. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can absolutely accidentally kill that base later on if you're just, ah, you know what, I need spore energy, or I need viper energy, whatever. Because those vipers have been added in, finally, in this game. But how do you break Cyril? I, you, you talked about this a little bit, right? Cyril is by far the best play, late game Zerg player against Protoss in the world. And he has his side of the map. He has that line of delineation that is defended yes. by creep tumors, defended by spores, by investors, by everything you could possibly want. How do you get through that? High Templars, like uh, High Templar storm drops on the side are fun. Yeah, absolutely. Is a double war prison oh, going to show up? And oh, I, oh. <laughs> cheeky little you. storm right there. You need two to kill those. It's not going to get anything. How do you tr how do you truly break through this? Because the longer this goes, I mean, Cyril's going to have three three eventually on his on his uh, corruptors. He's going to be able to build oh, whatever he wants. Uh, that's play. the thing. That's the thing is. At this point, I mean, it's Grespawn. It is Grespawn. This is the best map for splitting the map. Uh, Cyril has recognized that it is going to be a map that he can only win in the Uber late game. Uh, he did add those Vipers on just recently. He's down in upgrades, but as long as he doesn't die, it's not so bad. This is where we have to start taking stock of the units lost. And Classic, he's been starting to throw Zealots away for very little game for gain for the last, I would say, like two minutes. Yeah, and as a result, he's now down. I'm sure if we looked at this units lost tab, you know, uh, maybe two, three minutes ago, it's probably even, maybe even Classic favored. But with Classic throwing away, what, 30 Zealots in the last little bit? and not achieving too much with it, I think we're well past the time to stop doing that. He's going to rebuild two War Prisms again. He's going, oh my, is that four War Prisms? Yeah, does he, yeah. Does he still have two on the map? Uh, also, like we don't have Tectonic Destabilizers, which is what you do need if you're going to go to that super late game scenario, have those Tempests be able to chip away at your opponent's static defenses. I think it's really important and considering the number of bases on Grespawn and the number of bases that Classic has on Grespawn, there's really no excuse to not go for it. Oh, Rosa Biles just hit. Uh, well, they just hit a lot of Cyril's own units. A little bit of an oopsie, I think, trying to hit the War Prism. Uh, even the greatest of our time can make those little missteps from time to time, especially when you're in an unpleasant situation. Another Storm Drop comes in. This time, he will lose the High Templar. Unless he recalled that Archon, I don't think he did. No, no. Did he? Wait, it... No, it's dead. We're here to die. Uh, that... Can we battle report? Because I saw that it was in production, uh, an Archon... Uh... No, uh, okay, yeah, it did die, it did die. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, whenever I see stuff off screen, I always want to... I always want to double check. Um, we do have Cyril. He is... We are going to get to a situation where every player has done the... I like to call it the full Monty of upgrades, which is all 15 possible upgrades you can get uh 30 in total classic will lose a few probes but Cyril, for this part he had already built that roach ravager ling he is okay to trade that out oh dt's are gonna come on in they will find a base but like i said it's mostly mined out oh spires are starting to fall hang on ah classic i was saying he can't just like win it with multitask but because Cyril's bases are so low it is a problem. Storms do get dodged on the Corruptors. Base goes down in the natural. But like, I... as much as it's... As tempting as it, as, it, as it is to say, wow, you know, great move, right? He, he, I think he yeah. got like three hatch two or three hatcheries, and he got a lair. It might have been a hive. I'm not sure. Does that matter? Like, <laughs> does... Like, these bases aren't mining anymore. They, they, I guess it's a little bit of production. There's a little is bit of production, a little I bit don't of know. money. Now, this is a base that matters right losing it like yes. that it's a little is rough you didn't really trade out all that well but Ooh. hey that's a trade right there greater spire is gonna go down but already you know Cyril has more on the way and actually he's master it's, it's gonna die anyways 
but he's got a second spire he's got a greater spire on the way he's rebuilding his tech but losing a hatch is, is kind of irrelevant at this point it's 300 minerals it's not that big of a deal as we start to talk about fires going down and greater spires going down and hives going down and these gas structures yeah all of a sudden that does start to matter just a little bit more as you talk about things getting rounded out tectonic destabilizers halfway done we have there it is plus yeah. two ground armor just about complete and 10 10 stargates are apparently the answer. 11 stargates are apparently the answer classic are you ever gonna are you ever gonna have enough He's got to oh, stop doing okay. this with these high Templar at this point, I think. I, It's so cool. I love it. It's the, it's the like, I don't know what you want to call it, like the, the double Templar bros. We got two DTs, two high Templar. Like, it's cool. It's super freaking cool. But Hitler's dead. it's or expensive. That, or uh, by the way, yeah, those, those buildings bled out. Three more Stargates. Classic is going to be able to build an entire Sky Toss fleet so quickly. That is what he's been playing for. That is what he's been setting up. He's he's going to be on 12 Stargates, unless I've lost count and missed one of them. But if we take a look at that Structures tab, it should tell us. Yeah, 12 yeah. Stargates. <laughs> More Stargates than Gateways. Jeez, oh, this game it. is bonkers. Is that we're now at the point where it's not just about the one big fight. They're going to be able to remax very effectively and it's going to be about how cost efficient they are after that fight also classic is now in a position where he might be able to go for that top side base he might be able to take that away from Cyril, and i think that should be his next move uh and it looks like he's going to go for exactly that broodlord's trying to keep the head uh trying to keep that spine crawler alive i don't think they were quite able to do it Cyril is i don't know why but he has like four hydras in the composition which is a little bit strange. Oh, the investors could get caught on the transition. Nope, they're gonna be just fine. Classic is taking that topside nexus. And at this point, that is a big problem. But look at that, Cyril says, okay, that's fine. Look at how well matched they are for each other right now. Taking the bases opposite of each other at the same time. Classic adding on disruptors. Maybe gonna be looking for some big snipes on the investors with those. Or is it, it could be in response to the lurkers. Could be in response oh. to the lurkers. I'll, I'll buy that. So the question now, right? At, first of all, Classic losing his third is far more impactful because it's, it's a lot of production there versus just kind of just the hatch. But are we kind of at the point where Cyril, not, we're not quite there yet, where Cyril would have to give up the main and kind of have to reproduce his, his production on the bottom side? Because you can get to that point in this late game where suddenly, like, the Protoss army is strong enough. It has this ping pong ability with recalls and everything else where the Zerg base on the map has to start to slow down a little bit, has to get just a little bit smaller. But yeah, you talked about it. That, we're gonna. Didn't we see that Nexus go up? Was it was it canceled? I guess, I guess it was. It must have been canceled. Yeah, the Ling run by of Cyril must have uh, must have grabbed it. Meanwhile, on the other side, Ling's once again gonna find these zealots. Uh, one lurker did go down. But if you look at the resources lost again, we gotta be we gotta be keeping tabs on that. It's now up to twelve thousand resources lost difference. Uh, if we look at the the big one that shows us the gas versus minerals, I think it's gonna show us that. Oh, that yeah. actually that gap has grown too. This, I mean, okay, I don't want to say that Classic is in trouble in this game, but he's got to be a little bit more conservative, I think, with the way he's doing this. I, man, the Burrow play, though, has been so good from Serral. It's probably kept thousands of resources alive at this point from that. And we see the Revelation coming on in, but it bought time for the Lings to save those drones. So nicely done. Oh, Changelings. Okay, Infestors are going to be able to be protected here. There's no Viper, of course, to abduct the Mama ship, so it is just fine. This, neither player wants to commit to a big fight. They are both so respectful of each other. DT Blink. Hmm. Hmm. Additional I mean, it, it Warp Prisms. Be, it can be good. The thing, like, Classic is playing like he's literally got infinite money hack, and he doesn't actually. Like, he will eventually run out of resources, and he will do it faster than Cyril. But this is a nice find. It does get a couple of Queens. Very nice. That is that is a solid pickup. Ooh, we are going to see the jump on the army. There's the abduct. Mothership left hanging a little bit too much. Minus 400. Minus 400. That's a great pick for Serral. That it is. And it, as long as this, this, this mothership has been alive for like 10 minutes now, even still, it really has not found the value that you're looking for out of that unit. But Classic immediately oh, pins it up call. again. 
but we're starting to hit this point where it just feels like Classic's doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And that, he's yes. just not finding it, Matt. This base is dead now. The, the Cracklings and the uh, the Lurkers, you have to spend a recall, maybe. But no, Classic you don't want to spend a recall do on this, I don't so, think. The probes are dead. As, ex as big as this bank still is, this army is insanely expensive. And I don't think that even with that bank, I don't think he can build another one. I, I don't... This is going to have to be it. You can add drips and drabs, but this has to be his ultimate army. And think think about what Classic's done with that, with that money that he could have used. What has he done to actually win this game? Absolutely nothing. He has done nothing to give himself an opportunity to win this game with those Zealot runbys. Like, Serral was never going to die to them, you know? He was never going I mean, to lose the game once he got up to like the six or seven bases and we got towards this super late game situation. Uh, it's it's unfortunate because Classic has done so much so well in this series already, but the refusal, the inability to pump the brakes has been a huge problem for him. And now Serral's remax potential is so much more significant. And if we look at the resources lost now, it's, it's probably even worse for Classic. We're up to 20,000. Almost, sorry, no, almost 20,000. What is that, 19,200 something? You're close you enough, can't, right? You can't, you can't make up for that. It's too much. Classic does have, an, does have one opportunity. He needs to win a fight massively. And this army can do that if he's able to counter the spellcasters properly. He got to drop storms on everything, win a fight, force the remax there. You have to start playing differently. And Classic is, to his credit. He's not sending warp prisms all over the place. He's not dropping 10 zealots into a base to try to make something happen. And in fairness, because he has killed the main, because he has killed so many of these hatcheries, that north side base is just a little bit more available to him. And we are, I think we're seeing him long distance mine. Uh, no, no, he's not. That's a couple links on the north side. But he has kind of the north east side of the map available to himself now, which does mean that maybe value. he can start to get a little bit more, but it's always, yeah, you, you cannot let Cyril get in this bottom side base. I mean, the banks are already in a horrible spot. Oh, Disruptor. Uh, I, do, okay. I, I mean, like the Disruptor play a lot because it's, oh, nice feedback right there. Grabs a couple of units, huge fungal growth. Is Cyril going to go for this? There are High Temple on the back. He drops the Parasitic Bomb. That is going to be a good one indeed. And the Tempests with the Parasitic Bomb and the Fungal Growths take a ton of damage. Feedback's going to come in on the Infestors, but the Yoink comes in on the Mothership. Classic, both players, man, I really, really got to give kudos. Both players position that fight so well to have like a nice back layer. But this is where, this is where Classic losing all of those units is such a problem. Because if he had done these trades when he was ahead in the game, he could have done this indefinitely. But now he can't afford to keep doing this. They're, they're going to both rebuild their units at the same rate. Or sorry, they're both going to deplete their banks at the same rate. But Classic's just going to run out so much faster. Oh, man, this is so sad. It's, so not, over yet. it's not over yet. But no. uh, Classic had this one by the short and curlies. Oh, we are going to see Fungal Growth coming in once again. Ooh, High Templar does get sniped. Big Fungal Growth, but the big Storm and the Corruptors are going to be pretty good. Oracle did go down. Those are the storms you need on the Corruptors. Those are some big storms. What's the High Templar count? Classic is trying to take this bottom side base that has just been so heavily contested here as uh, Storms deal with the rest of the Changelings. That's so nice for Serral. Oh, yeah. man, I hate when Protoss players storm Changelings in the late game. You need the energy for the actual spells to do real impact. Please do not use them on Changelings. Every Protoss who does that, look in the mirror and say, I will never do that. Do that 25 times every morning, 25 times before you go at night. Please no. It's so wasteful. You have to just click them down. But at the same time, I, mean, I understand it's easier to do that. Well, on top of that, you, you, you feel like you have to burst them down because you don't know where the Vipers are. And one of the things that the Changelings can provide is, okay, I know where the army is. It's an easy abduct time and time and time again because the changelings will lead that army so it's like ah, i don't know that i have the time yeah, to like if they're gonna the go for it. provides cloaking oh yeah, true, but but we got a big fight coming on in storms on the left mothership does get abducted the parasitic bomb fungal growth combo it's a good split from classic but uh, i mean the carriers take a lot of damage does Cyril want to go for the re-engage? I wonder if there's any High Templar available. There's a Changeling that spots this. I think there is no High Templar available. Uh-oh. 
classic. Oh, okay, he cannot sit here. If he, oh, okay, no, no, okay, no, there was, okay, okay. As long as there's High Templar, you're okay. You cannot fight without the High Templar. You need to be able to storm the Corruptors and keep them off your carriers. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's more in reserve. Like... Oh, so smart, classic. Oh, and now he's yeah, reinforcing think... with Void Rays. I think he actually kind of forgot about them. There were four High Templars just at, at that, the base that's getting attacked right now, just sitting there on full energy, so. Uh, maybe he was just warping them and very far away, but uh, anyways, they're, they're part of the army now. He's got five, as you said, five avoid rays on the way here. And he knows Cyril has to push this bottom side base because like this is mining. So he's gonna move top side. He's gonna contest the other base. But again, we need to see a good, you can't trade hatch for next. First of all, hatcheries are cheaper. They're 150 minerals cheaper. It's a little bit easier there. And on top of that, again, classic, He's got a thousand minerals in the bank at this point. He really, uh, we're starting to hit the point where you lose all the interceptors, you can't remake them. Like we're, we're starting to hit the point where you just can't resupply the army the way you would like to resupply it. So now classic, this is, we, we talked about it earlier. This is his last army, 677 minerals, less than 3000 gas. Cyril though, I mean, he, his gas count 7,000, that's enough for probably one remax. So if, if classic can win a fight well enough, Maybe there is still some Protoss Hopium here, but I mean, you're right. This has been classic. He's been playing the last 20 minutes to not lose, not the last 20 minutes to win. Uh, and, well, no, I mean, he has been playing to win. It's just that he's been playing to win a different type of game. He's been playing to win a game where he like breaks through and kills his opponent instead of playing the game that Serral was already prepared for. And now the Changelings do spot the army. Big storms on the Corruptors, but it's a couple carriers going down. The Corruptors are able to get out of there. Nice Abduct grabs another Void Ray on the chase. And Classic, he is out of Minerals. Oh man, yeah, I, he's adding on Archons. He's going for it. This is this is maybe his, uh, this is like his last army, really. Uh, he needs to catch Serral. He needs to catch Serral slipping at this point. That's the only way. That's the only way. I like that we've seen Transfuses on these Corruptors. Very nice decision. The mothership is going to pop out pretty soon. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe the way long ago was go full fist of need, get a ton of static defense. But what we've seen from Classic hasn't been it, unfortunately. Okay, so that's a oh, nice feedback. Start here. Oh, fungals. Massive fungals there. Four High Templars should just go down immediately. Now, I do like what I'm seeing from Classic a little bit. He's got so many Void Rays, they're not with the army. They're half a screen away. They're fast. They, they can join very quickly. And the goal here is to bait Cyril into a fight, then join your Void Rays. And after all the Spellcaster energy has been spent, and then hope that the Void Rays can survive into that fight. It's still very, very hard here. That Zoning Storm doesn't find what you want. And yeah, I mean, oh, the now, Void Rays now, now Cyril knows where the Void Rays are. That trick doesn't seem like it's going to work as well anymore. That is that is actually a really great point you just made. Like the Void Rays were kind of hidden there. Uh, and now they have been revealed. So maybe Classic would have been able to bait Serral into a fight where, you know, he he commits in and a bunch of those units go down, like a bunch of uh a bunch of uh corruptors dive the carriers, and then all of a sudden, you know, eight, nine void rays show up, they prismatically align. The spellcasters all have their energy gone, and the void rays come in and just smash everything. That is now off the table. Also, classic two minerals now in the bank. He cannot build another unit. He doesn't have probes. This is all you see is all you get. Serral still has a 9K, almost 6K bank. Classic, I mean, I've said it for a while, but he needs to get it done with this army. Also, I want to see how many zealots have died in this game. Because even if we even if we subtract 50 from that number, <laughs> yeah, let's say 50, 187 zealots. Even if you add, you could add 13,700 resources back to this bank for Classic, and he might have achieved a similar setup. Maybe, maybe even if we Templar. just do 136 High Templar went down. Well, those, uh, yeah, he actually probably lost like, he probably lost a good number of them on those storm drops as well, which I was applauding. I do like the idea of going for Larva. Uh, I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough. At the same time, I don't want to be too critical of Classic because he's played a great series so far. This is Serral playing out of his damn mind. And again, there is a world where, I, and I'm not just trying to be, you know, Protoss, Copium, Hopium, whatever. There is a world where Classic still takes this. 
the the Ooh. gas army oh, of duck. Daryl. Thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Okay, there we go. I'm oh, on the Oracle. They're so That's important. So nice. In the late game, they need oh, that vision. How many vision. Oracles are left? One nice. Is there thing. only one? We got to look at the uh, yeah. Keep up the units tab for sure. Only one Oracle. Without Oracles, you can't do anything about trying to push into this army. That single oracle. Oh, that's, oh, nice feedback. But the High Templar goes down and feedbacking Vipers does not kill them. Unlike feedbacking high, full energy infestors. Oh, another fungal growth coming on in. Good chain. It is a big storm on the Broodlords. Ooh, is Daryl gonna pull the trigger? Is he gonna go for it? That might've been a little bit too far. Broodlords do get time warped. Classic, this might be the instance he's going for. Oh, there's an abduct on the Mama ship. Classic is going to try and smash his way through. The Corruptors on the top side. Parasitic Bomb will hit the Carriers. The Void Rays pop the Prismatic Alignment, but there just isn't enough here for Classic. Even losing Interceptors is irreplaceable. Serral still on a 6k, 3k bank. He is going to get a good enough fight. And there is nothing Classic can do. with The huge Fungal Growth, and it's all over. Daryl, after 49 minutes on Gresvon, is going to take this one down. Even a couple neural parasites to boot. GG gets called. Well, it's double gas, and it's going to be a quick fleet beacon here. All right, all right. This is pretty nifty here from Classic. But is this going to be the two carrier in the ground? Are we going to see Twilight go down after this? Or is this just full send? You know, I didn't have enough fun in those last 50 minutes, so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> like, let's go full send, immediate sky toss all the way. Uh, that is a good question. It might just be like a four carrier time and go from there. We don't see any plus one air weapons just yet. Serral, though, I was just going to say, this is uh, some weird gas timings and a weird roach warning timing. This looks like Serral wants to go for it here. Classic, I don't know if he scouted the roach warren. I think... Do we have overlords moving through the middle of the map or are those queens? There is something moving a little queens bit north, a little bit north. A uh, little bit further north. Okay, Queen's already forward. Yeah, this is a huge commitment from Serral. Classic is going to have two carriers out very shortly. Now, they won't have a lot of interceptors, but the Queens are going to be awkward and clunky against this. Classic hasn't seen it coming yet. He's only got the one shield battery, and it's rather exposed. Okay, he does see it now. The creep from Serral. He uses this third base to boost his creep very far forward. The carriers, though, they could be exactly what the doctor ordered. Queens are immediately going to turn around. Serral is going to already potentially... Oh, no, he drops the creep. He's going to be able to transfuse these queens. Oh, that's big. That fast harky back to a year, year and a half ago, prior to the patch, the double Stargate meta. It was all about Roach Queen Ling walks against the Void Rays. And you know, Zest in particular, one of the things that he was doing to try to figure out how to deal with this he was going this oh. carrier build, and we see it right here. The Queens, <laughs> especially off creep, they have zero chance. They're not going to kill this. So this is a massive commitment from Serral right now that he continues to rally into just a little bit. Yes, there's there's a Spire on the way behind oh, no. this. Oh, he just grabbed two mineral lines somehow. Serral showing a little bit of, uh, looking a little shaky there. Uh, we do see a Spire coming in for Serral, but his worker count is so much lower than it should be. You talk about Serral under the gun doing what he needs to do. Uh, he is in some big trouble, and I don't think he's out of the woods yet. But already no, two all. clutch Ling runbys have really helped mitigate the difficult position he's been in. And the fact that the first one is what opened up the second one. Even though he didn't get a ton of damage, the units were not in position. The gateway units for Classic, and so he loses them all. Doesn't replace him, and as a result, that leads to the death of the fourth base. It has to be canceled. It may not seem like much because we just had such a long game, but this is a game where neither player's got a big economy. Serral particularly has a very poor economy, so doing what he does to even the game out is going to be big. However, he's going to commit to a big attack, but I think there is going to be... Uh, I think there's going to be Archons here. Plus, yeah, oh I mean, man, so many upgrades about to finish. Yeah, just classic needs 10, 20 seconds. In fact, it might just be worth, worth it to give this base up to buy yourself the time that you need, but he's going to commit to it right here. Overlord's going forward just, I guess, to mess with, well, also for creep, but just to mess with the AI a little bit here as the Corruptors sitting There's on top of this army. This is a hard push. Oh, coming the storm. Out of right the now, storm. But look at the storm! 
It's massive! And there's a second one here as well. You can't transfuse for that. Not at all. So here comes Classic again. The storms one are going to get storm. dark. And the Corruptors, oh. they just want to dive on top here. But it's not going to be worth it at all. Look at Cyril's army. It's evaporating. I don't actually, I don't know how many interceptors we have, but there are stalkers on the ground. They got plus one. They got blink here. That transition we were talking about, it seems like it's just going to be barely enough. And now, Cyril, he's lost his queens. He's lost his corruptors. He's lost so many overlords as they have to run away. And the roaches as well. That was, Cyril hit his timing 10 seconds too late. I think he's just going for the max out timing. You know, he's at 180 yeah, supplies. He's, he's going to have plus two in just a second. I mean, Cyril's going to try to snipe a Nexus here, but <laughs> no, 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 not with that many stalkers on the map. So now, classic 10 supply off max, plus two done in 20 seconds. Give or take here, his lings are going to, they're not even gonna get, going to get the pylon. So this is classic time. He's on what five six carriers something like that so many high templars so many storm available the one thing he's missing and he needs to join the army right now he needs that over he needs that observer <laughs> there is so much creep on the map Cyril really needs to be able to or classic really needs to be able to do with that one meanwhile Cyril is trying to move into the late game we see the spire or we see the hive on the way right now but here we go blink forward ravagers roaches fall and look at that behind the corruptors here. They want that carrier. Classic's not gonna let him have it. The entire army's here. And now this run by Steadfast. This run by is nice. It's probably gonna cancel the fifth base. I don't know that it matters. No, it's just hoping to cause Classic to make mistakes. Serral knows he cannot fight this army. At this point, you you either need lurkers or broodlords to fight this army. Oh, or some big corrosive vials. He does kill two of the six High Templar. That is a big start for Serral, but he needs to kill, I think, maybe every High Templar before the fight breaks out to have a chance in this fight. This army is so much higher quality on paper for Classic, but Serral, he starts it off with a good Kobe Bryant-esque shot on those corrosive vials. Ooh, Classic. Oh, where's the storms? Not dropping them on the Corruptors. There we go. Finally does now. High Templar are going to get some big storms. Classic, he doesn't even need the carriers. He's warping stalkers right into the fight. He blinks forward. He is going to take down Serral. Two to one.